everyone back here with another video today we've got a new addition to the home lab we've got my new file server which is this right here and if you can't tell from the description or the title this is a dell r720 xd this will be replacing my uh old aging uh 12 bay r510 that you guys have seen in the past and i'll show that to you in a little bit but yeah let's go ahead and get started with this and uh see how we're gonna open this up here Now we can use our scissors. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So, may not even need these. All right, looks to have made it. Doesn't seem to be damaged at all, so that's a good sign always. All right, here we go. Let's see. Sweet. All right, that is real nice. Let's get this guy on the box. All right, so here we are. This is the Dell. R720 XD 12 bay. I do have an R720 XD 24 bay as well as a Dell R510, which kind of used to work in conjunction together as my file servers. But let's go ahead and get started on talking about the front of it. So here's the front of the unit, as you guys can see. It has 12 three and a half inch drive bays. You've got USB, VGA, your power button, and then your indicator buttons down here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and go inside the machine. And you can see what we've got going on in terms of processors and RAM. All right. Now, I don't really know all too well the specs of this machine. Uh, the listing didn't really have a whole bunch of information, so I'm kind of going off of what I've got here. But I do know this has a single 1.8 gigahertz uh, Xeon. I think it's an E52603. So. I don't know how many cores and threads that is, but I'll put it over the top here for you. Uh, I know it's got 32 gigs of RAM, only one processor. As you can see, this is a blank, so only one processor on this one. But we will be changing that very, very soon. You can see it's got all the fans here, no blanks. And let's go ahead and spin this guy around and uh, see if we can look at the back. All right, so coming around the back, we've got, starting down here, our Dell iDRAC, the integrated... Dell remote access controller. This is the standard, not enterprise. I do have to get a enterprise license for that. We've got a serial connection, VGA, two USB ports, four gigabit ethernet ports, and a single 500 watt, well, 495 watt power supply, which we will be upgrading here very, very soon. Um, as far as the RAID controller here, I believe this is an 8710, 512 megabyte, but I'm not too sure. Uh, we're going to find out here in just a minute when we go to power it up. But yeah, as far as the hardware goes, that's pretty much it. Uh, we don't have any of the rear flex bays or anything like that, but uh, that's just fine. You know, this machine will be running ESXi 7 once we flash the RAID controller to IT mode so we can kind of use it as an HBA. And we'll be using this with EXX. ESXi with several different operating systems running within ESXi. So it'll be a nice fun video series getting this all deployed. Uh, we'll be running a Mac OS file server, we're running a Windows file server, Linux file server. It'll be really, really fun to, to 
play with all that stuff and uh, actually have a nice, uh, reliable storage server. Now, the whole purpose of me purchasing this, as you guys may have known, if you watched my videos previously, you guys know I have a R510 12 bay, which is pretty much the identical to this. The R510, it runs really hot. It's not very fast. It's not very efficient, so that's the whole reason I got the R720 XT. Now, I could have gotten an R730 XT or even like an R740 XT because I do have an R740, but like I said, this machine was cheap. This was like $299, like 300 bucks. These machines consistently go for $400 plus on eBay, so when I saw it was a pretty good deal, I had to jump on it. And at the end of the day, it's just going to be a file server. Yeah, no need for, you know, R730 XD. It's going to have a nice RAID controller, but I don't really need the uh, crazy high-performance processors like uh, the version 3 or version 4, or maybe R740 with the Xeon scalable processor. So, enough ranting and rambling. Let me go ahead and get this thing in the rack and see if it powers up. All right, so we're back on our secondary rack. I've got the R720 XD all hooked up. I uh, put some of my extra um, drive sleds in so I can just fill some of the gaps up. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if it powers on. I'm gonna go ahead and pan up here to the monitor and hopefully you guys can see that okay. All right, let's go ahead and power it up. All right, that's a good sign. Alright, so we've got a failing demo, which is awesome. As you can see, it only recognizes 24 out of 32. And it detects the RAID controller. And it is an 8710 mini, so that's fine. And it's 1067 megahertz memory and a 1.8 gigahertz processor. So, yeah, we're gonna have to change that out. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, it's booting up just fine. Uh, I'm gonna check that dim. Okay, so for whatever reason, the, uh, it did the system reinitialization, so when the configuration changes, it gets really loud and the fans the fan snap at full speed or whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to check the memory. But uh, like I said before guys, this is just to replace my aging R510 12A, which I can show you real quick. Let me go fix it. And as you can see, here's the rack. Here is the R740, the old R720 XD, which has been effectively retired. And our good old R510 12A. Pull this bad boy out. And as you can see, here it is. We've got quite a bit of these discs in here. I think these are two terabyte in size. Uh, can't really see what size the drives are. Uh, but I think these are mostly two terabyte drives that are in here. And uh, I think this is the, nope, this is another constellation. Yeah, I think this is, has like 10 two terabyte drives or whatever. Uh, not gonna be reusing these, probably gonna be selling these with the system. I'd like to ideally put yeah, like I said, I would ideally like to gonna try to fill up the 10 terabyte hard drives. Yeah, we're gonna go from there. I do believe it's gonna be running ESXi version seven. If maybe not, if it can. If not, I will probably be running ESXi 6.7, whatever one. We'll run on the R720 XT because it's been a while since I've tried to put ESXi in one of these. So, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek on the second rack I've got and some of the future projects I have on the way. But for now, that's just a quick unboxing and overview of the R720 XD, which is my new file server. So guys, stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna be doing the deployment. We're gonna be installing SXI, hard drives, processor, memory. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.